Rachel Zegler gets destroyed in the latest Snow White trailer. Everyone hates Disney's woke Snow White. We're going to go ahead and get into this even further. Welcome back to Views with Hughes Culture News. This is Jerome Hughes. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, as you all know, Rachel Zegler and Snow White, the latest disaster coming out of Disney's, you know, factory of flops. You've heard the name and you've seen the memes. Yes, we're talking about Rachel Zegler and the colossal mess that is a live action on remake of Snow White. Now, Disney dropped the latest trailer and it's been nothing short of a public relations nightmare. Now, as you all know, Rachel Zegler, whether she likes it or not, is now the face of this disaster and people are not holding back at all you can even see in the comments section of the latest youtube um, snow white trailer now disney finally put out the trailer on youtube after teasing it in theaters for two weeks and let's be honest rachel zegler and everyone involved probably knew what was going to happen now within hours of the trailer being released it was getting ratioed into oblivion as of now the dislikes are nearing like over 462,000, while the likes saw it um, past 21,000. and here's the thing the comment section has become a battlefield with comments roasting rachel zegler and the movie getting more likes than the trailer itself that's right this rachel zegler is officially the target of one of the most you know brutal youtube roast sessions in recent memory and there's some of the highlights when comments were stating things about how you know disney was truly incredible to take them with three years multiple rewrites unnecessary cgi at 29 million dollars wait actually 300 million dollars to deliver a trailer that's so bad and people rather sit through the emoji movie again but this is not just criticism this is a public execution Richard Zegler's name keeps popping up in these comments because well let's face it Richard Zegler is one of the reasons this movie is getting annihilated but another person wrote how the trailer saved that their father's life he's been in a coma for eight months and when they played this trailer he woke up and got out of the bed and turned it off thank you thank you Richard Zegler for performing miracles now the sarcasm is thick and it's directed all, all at Richard Zegler who has somehow managed to alienate both the fans of the original Snow White and the casual viewers who were just basically tired of Hollywood's preachiness okay now why in the world is Richard Zegler facing so much backlash well let's start with the comments that Richard Zegler made about the original Snow White I hate to sound like a broken record but Richard Zegler didn't just step into the iconic role with that she stepped all over the legacy of the 1937 for animated classic according to Richard Zegler the original original story is outdated problematic and not feminist enough Richard Zegler in her so-called infinite wisdom decided to trash a movie that's been beloved for generations and for what to make herself look like some sort of revolutionary I mean I feel sorry for Rachel Zegler, but audiences are not buying it at all. And Rachel Zegler's approach to this whole role has been, you know, nothing short of baffling. Instead of just simply embracing the timeless charm of Snow White, Rachel Zegler has made it her mission to go ahead and rewrite the story into something modern and progressive. And here's the thing. People love the original Snow White for a reason. It's a classic fairy tale that stood the test of time. Something that Rachel Zegler would never grasp and Rachel Zegler's attempt to fix it fix it comes across as arrogant and completely tone deaf if you're going to play the iconic character try not to insult the story that made the character iconic in the first place okay and it's not just the words of rachel zegler it's also rachel zegler's attitude you see rachel zegler has given off an air of smugness in interviews that's rubbed people the wrong way and instead of just showing gratitude for being cast in such a legendary role rachel zegler seems more interested in lecturing audiences about how outdated the original story is i mean i'm again i feel sorry for rachel zegler but the kind of the kind of sanction uh, isn't just a good look especially when you're promoting a movie that already not that nice now what is rachel zegler bringing to the table of snow white well based on the trailer i mean not much of a kind of a graceful heroine we get rachel zegler leading what can only be described as a socialist revolution in one scene you have snow white telling the evil queen to show some kindness yeah show some kindness the same rachel zegler who told her critics to go after themselves in real life the irony is so thick that you could cut it with a knife, a steak knife while it's fat. But speaking of the evil queen, let's be real here. Gal Gadot is the only character that anyone is rooting for at this point. You see, Gal Gadot's evil queen is poised, elegant, and honestly more likable than Rachel Zegler's Snow White. And that's a 
problem, a huge problem, when the villain is more appealing than the hero itself. And you know that you've messed up when you've done that, but Rachel Zegler seems oblivious to this at this point, doubling down on her modern feminist interpretation of the character itself. Now, before we continue, be sure to smash like button in this video if you enjoy or shared in it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click bell notifications. That way, be notified of future uploads and updates. So let's go ahead and get right back at to it. So the problems don't stop with Rachel Zegler. You see, there's also the CGI in this movie that's so bad it's almost laughable. And remember when Disney used to create worlds that you know felt magical and alive? Well, those days are long gone. Now we're stuck with these soulless live action remakes that look like they were made on a budget of ten dollars and a pack of cigarettes and the dwarves wait sorry not even dwarves anymore thanks to rachel zegler's insistence on making this film politically correct and peter dinklage we've got a bunch of cgi monstrosities instead of the lovable characters that we love and remember now, even Peter Dinklage chimed in on this mess, as you all remember, ch criticizing Disney for perpetuating offensive stereotypes. But here's the thing. Every other dwarf actor out there was like, I, I'd have, I love a job. Yet Rachel Zegler and Disney decided to do the political correct route. And re the result is uncanny um, valley of horrifying CG CGI. Now, let's be honest here. A lot of those who were like dwarf actors and stuff, they're upset and angry over this particular move. They're still angry over this particular move because the simple fact of the matter is they enjoy acting. They enjoy doing what they love and stuff and playing different characters and stuff. And they also have a chance as actors out there this was happening for decades and let's not forget the budget disney reportedly spent over 300 million dollars on this monstrosity of a movie yes you heard it right 300 million dollars over a soon to be failing richard zegler project and for what for richard zegler to lecture us about feminism and equality and while surrounded by cartoonish cgi characters i mean at this point it feels like disney is just trying to go ahead and burn money for fun and even the mainstream media, which usually goes out of its way to defend Disney, is turning on this movie starring Richard Zegler. Now, headlines are popping up everywhere, criticizing everything from Richard Zegler's performance to the overall lack of charm in this, you know, so-called remake. Now, one article even um, called The Doors Pure Nightmare Fuel, and the other said that the movie is soulless and preachy. Now, when even the media won't defend Richard Zegler, I mean, you know things are bad so yeah as you all know the trailer is a disaster Richard Zegler's name is trending for all the wrong reasons and Disney is in full damage control mode whether they admit it or not they could have you know respected the original story and they could have just cast someone who actually cared about the role they could have made a movie that felt magical and timeless instead of preachy and soulless all for the sake of going ahead and just making sure that they can find somebody who they can easily pay less, easily control, and has like a, a basically a diverse background and stuff. In this case, um, someone who has a, a ethics, uh, uh, like um, ethnical um, detail of like Hispanic or Latina, but they don't. And now, you know, they're reaping what they've sown. Now, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Are you planning to watch Snow White or are you just here for like the roast, um, for the roast like the rest of us? Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional details you have with this particular topic. If you enjoy what I shared in this video, go ahead, smash the like button, share the video for our white crossers media. And if you haven't done so already, enjoyed all the content that I put out there, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that way you're notified of future uploads and updates. Till then, peace.